Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome to a very special sound design edition of my channel. Today I'll be going over how to make this Chainsmoker synth and bass sound. And let's dive right in. Now that we're in Serum, this is it. It's pretty straightforward. It just has three main elements. The two oscillators, the filter, the noise oscillator, and a variety of effects, phaser, compressor, EQ, filter, and reverb to give it its characters. <laughs> This is without the processing that I went over in the original video. In oscillator one, I use basic shapes and I turn the wavetable to the saw wave here. Octave goes down one. I've got unison up to six to make it into a super saw. And our detune is only gonna stay at around 30%. From that to that. And then on the warp knob, which is this one, we switch on bend minus to give it some movement. Bend minus is attached to LFO3 and we'll be using LFO3 move the warp knobs of both oscillators. Oscillator B, we've got basic MDC, also found in the analog menu. This one sounds like. Same thing, we're also adding unison to stack that bad boy up and detune at the same percent. Our wavetable is gonna be right down the middle, so it's a sine wave and warp has bend plus minus on it. Easy. And then the last little thing that I add for the main sound of the synth is the noise oscillator here under the H breath setting. I turn the pitch up a little bit just to be in tune. The next big part of the sound comes from this filter here. So I'm using a high pass 12 filter, routing A and B through it, and these are the settings that I use. You notice there's automation on it as well. That's coming from LFO number one, set to these settings here, quarter note, and the velocity. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm not exactly sure what the velocity does, but when I added it, it gave it more of a thicker pluck type sound. But I do know that this LFO affecting cutoff volume on these three different sound sources. And that just helps with the overall attack and shape of the sound opening it up so as the synth hits it starts out a little softer it gets thicker as time goes forward now to really bring this sound up make it thick we go into our effects here the two main effects that really give it thickness are the compressor and the eq this compressor acts as an ott actually the multi-band compressor so it really squashes it and this eq is boosting the mid highs just a little bit. Then just a few other little details. This phaser, a little reverb. And a little bit of filter as well to get rid of any lows. So that's the main sound. Once again, going into the same processing that I talked about in the previous video. And that's the final result. As for the bass, this one is made up of two oscillators as well. This one is using acid wavetable and the subby saw one. Our oscillator A sounds like this. I put octave down by one. Unison is at two, but with no detune, so that just kind of stacks the sound. And I've also included bend plus here to shape it a little bit. And I just played around with the wavetable to give it a bit of character. Oscillator two, we got our subby saw. Same thing, octave down one, stacked unison to wavetable to where it sounds nice and I just mix them together so the subby saw is a little bit less but but the subby saw is adding that nice harmonic top end to it. Now if you notice I turned the filter off because the filter is where the main sound comes from and that's just the default low pass filter. I'm just automating the cutoff here through envelope 2. I use these settings here in our envelope to give it that pluck sound. There's a little bit of effects as well. EQ to boost mids a little bit, and this compressor here, use it at these settings to, to squash it a little bit and give it that pluck. The sound really comes alive with the processing once again, and I go over that in the main video. 
as long as you get your ideas down that's all that matters use these in your songs i hope to hear some cool stuff thank you so much for watching this video as always like and subscribe if there's anything you want me to make comment it below tweet at me instagram me here's the link to all my socials other than that thank you so much for watching this video i will see you next time Peace.